Hello, I'm going to show you two ways to back up your PlayStation games to do whatever you want. Computer and DVD player is required. Stay tuned. I have the computer here to connect to the DVD player. The best thing about these backups is that the software is completely free. I'm going to get one of my favorite games here, Resident Evil 3, and try to back up. Unfortunately PlayStation scratched the whole game. I spent too many hours playing. It will probably be a failed attempt. Now here on the computer let's start by installing EMG burn it's free and should work without any problem. Of course I advise you to download from the official website. Now that the download is finished, just install the software. Easy. It's a good sign that the game has been detected, so let's now go to the moment of truth and try to back up the scratched disk. The steps are simple is open software and create image file from disk. This icon is where you select the destination of the ISO file. I created a folder with the name of the game to avoid doubts in the future. Let's try if I can back up a game that I can no longer play on the console because it's too scratched. The message that appears here below is not a good sign. It means it has bad sectors, so I won't be able to make a complete backup of the game. Incomplete backups most of the time are playable and can crash at any time. I don't want to give up without trying with other software, let's try with other free software. RetroArch. Now it's time to go to the official page and there's nothing to say, just download and install. I will install with administrator's permissions. The Windows message is normal, because the software is not digitally signed. If you downloaded it from the official website, you don't have to worry about having a virus. RetroArch is very complete, among several options, it lets you back up games. Now I'm going to try to see if the result is different. Unfortunately, with none of the software I can back up a scratch game. Now let's back up the Resident Evil Director Cut with the MG Burn and the demo that came with the game with Retro Arch. Now, do the same as I did before, create a folder with the name, open the software and make the backup. Let's go. This sound means that I managed to make the backup without problem. Now I'm going to use RetroArch, because apart from making backups of games, it's also one of the best emulators available for multi-platforms. Most of the time it is necessary to have the cores installed and also the BIOS to run certain games. But that tutorial will be for in future video.
You can tell that it's working without problem. I'll leave a little gameplay, to confirm that both the graphics and the sound are working. About the control I have nothing to add, it is still the game that I love so much, that I originally played on the Sega Saturn. Now let's back up the demo that came with the game, using RetroArch. As you can see this CD is not in the best condition. I open RetroArch and click on the backup disk option. Now I only need to wait 10 minutes for the backup to finish. Of course, using the magic of video editing takes less time. Now I need to find where is saved the backup. It's always the latest files inside RetroArch's download folder. Yes, it works without problem. I'll leave the little gameplay, playing the demo. If you like this type of content, don't forget to leave a like and a comment. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Freeze! Who are you? What are you doing here?